There has to come a time when it's now or never. Will you look at your reflection and realize that the cost of waiting is far more expensive than the cost of stepping out into the vast unknown? In every journey, that's when life effectively starts. But here's why this is so tricky. What's caught me off guard so many times in my life is the many shapes, the many shapes that waiting takes. See, waking is not always sitting there and doing nothing, not at all. Sometimes waking is just the bare minimum. It's moving forward so slightly and so slowly that you can essentially trick yourself into thinking that you're progressing. Into thinking you're making it happen. And if you really stopped and looked, if you were honest with yourself, if you really took a second to review, to analyze, you'd see that you're leaving almost everything on the table. You're not creating progress, you're dancing with the idea of progress. Sometimes waiting can mean just going fast enough to not have to look at the fear you're hiding behind. That's reality. I think it's a very normal thing, but I also think life is too short for normalcy. I think we can do better than normal. And I believe with all my heart and soul that the world has for us the spectacular. Being there on the top shelf, waiting for those who can acquire the self-belief and the awareness to reach out and grab it. And how crazy a thought to realize that we could have been sitting next to the very thing we've needed for days, months, years, but never taught ourselves to extend our hands and reach. When I look back, the most important moments in my life were not tangible acquisition. And see the flashy things that try and capture our attention, right? The money, the condos, even social media growth, business growth, whatever it is you're working towards. Those things are wonderful. They are benchmarks that hopefully align with your North Star. But they are not the difference makers, not at all, right? They were the byproduct of what really mattered. They weren't the moments that moved the needle. My greatest moments were mental shifts, cognitive transformations. That's why I do this for a living. I see how much can change when we step back and look at life just a little differently. It was my realizing that I was demanding too little of myself, that the world won't see greatness in me until I see it in me. That shift that pushed me to demand that more of myself seek bigger challenges, value my work to a greater extent, charge more for my services. And that mental shift is what made some of those externalities possible. It's realizing that if you want it, more is on the table. But yesterday doesn't define you. That it's never too late to begin again. That everything you need you have, right? These are the ideas that truly change lives. They make the difference. And if we don't become aware of these things, we leave them in the rear view. We walk right by them. In other words, the most important moments of my life were when someone or something shook me and effectively said, Hey, look around you. If this is what you want, fine, enjoy, right? But for your information, there is more out there. And if you step up just a little, if you do just a little more, if you pivot and come at this thing a little bit differently, you will further that reach. You'll create another ripple effect that will transform your life. But we must stop and look around. A good friend of mine, and this is just the other day, right? We're having lunch, we're talking about marketing. And we always joke that marketing is just a part of the business that I don't particularly enjoy, right? Necessary, but not my favorite. Then we're going through kind of different strategies, ideas. And he presents one and I say something like, hey, you know, I don't need to do that. It seems a little over the top. And unfiltered, he goes, man, you're hurting your reach. Like what good is that metaphorical restaurant that's not on anyone's radar? You're going to be the best pizza shop that no one knows about. And it just kind of hit me, right? It's like, man, I needed to see that differently. Maybe there's room to be a little more aggressive. 
Again, one example of many. And not every time is the idea or opportunity the right one or necessary one, right? But at least you stopped. At least you thought about it. At least you contrasted where you are with the potential upside of doing something differently. That is where we leave opportunity on the table.